The beauty scientists, Dr. Christy Hamilton and Dr. Roy Kim. Real beauty without the hype. What injectable options do we have? Yeah, so in terms of injectable options, this is an interesting topic because just filling the balloon, the deflated balloon, or filling a wrinkle, actually doesn't really increase collagen that much. Now, this goes sort of against what we're, we've been told by the manufacturers of these fillers. But to be honest, HA fillers don't really increase or induce that much collagen growth. The stimulatory fillers, biostimulatory fillers, to be honest, don't they increase collagen a little more, but they don't increase collagen that much either. They seem to have an inflammatory effect along with a small stimulatory collagen effect. And we're talking the non-HA fillers. So specifically, Kaha, calcium, hydroxyapatite, the Sculptra, as well as a couple others, which are not really common in the US, not huge, but they're definitely useful. But it's not like repeated injections of those products will increase collagen a lot. I think that in terms of the injectable world and the jury's out because they haven't been out that long are what we discussed in the past, regenerative skin boosters, which are not really out in the US yet. We have Skin Vive made by Allegan, great product, but it's mainly HA and it does induce some collagen growth. But the regenerative skin boosters, which are from products that we love, salmon skin DNA, but it's not really skin. <laughs> yes. That actually regenerates collagen because it was originally used in wound healing. The jury's mm -hmm. still out because, yes, I'd like to see two years, five years, whatever follow-up. But they do seem to work and they do seem to regenerate. It's very exciting. I just did, and I know we're going to talk about this too. So laser resurfacing, because I am always trying to build my collagen. So you don't need to wait till menopause <laughs> to start <laughs> counteracting this. But that those like micro injuries from the laser causes that that damage causes your body to start trying to repair itself and produces collagen. And so I did exosome therapy on top of it this time. And I did a much more aggressive treatment than I normally do because I was at home with the baby and had the opportunity to do that. And I healed faster than when I normally do lighter treatments of the laser. Mm. So that is not, a, <laughs> it's not a double blind controlled study, but it, it, it's definitely caught my, my eye and my interest. So I'm excited to see more regenerative medicine techniques come to the United States. Thank you for joining us on The Beauty Scientist. Be sure to visit thebeautyscientist.com and learn more about modern beauty and connect with Dr. Hamilton and Dr. Kim.